Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Tay, XO, XO, and I'm back with another cooking video, back with another cooking video, back, 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 back. Hey, my Tay Bays. Hey, everybody who's new here. We're in the kitchen today. So as y'all know, when we're in the kitchen, we are cooking in the kitchen with Tay, XO, XO, cooking in the kitchen, I know. Cooking in the kitchen with Tay XOXO. And we're about to make another delicious meal. Okay? So, y'all, I am hungry. I've been wanting these salmon croquettes, salmon patties, salmon fried patties, whatever you call them, where you're from or at your house or at your, you know, events that you go to and you eat these. That's what we're making today, y'all. And it's super, super, super simple. Nothing to it but to do it. So, Let's get into these ingredients. So today, y'all know we have our vegetables. We have our red, green bell pepper, a purple onion, a lemon, a jalapeno, some pickles, an egg, mayo, Worcestershire sauce, yellow mustard, pink salmon in a can. You can get it fresh in a can, however you want to do it. Obey seasoning, I got the lemon and herb kind, Kanye pepper, ground pepper, some vegetable oil, ground mustard. This is actually uh, um, onion powder that I put in here, season salt, garlic, and this is some yellow cornmeal, and this is garlic powder, garlic salt, one of those, yeah. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off by washing off my can of pink salmon. Then I'm going to open her up like so like that. And then you want to go in and drain all of that juice out of there. So now I take it out of the can, you guys. And I take all of the, like, the little bones that are in there. Not every single bone is going to come out, but most of them. Wash those hands and let's go. All right, so now I'm going to start by chopping up my onion, my green bell pepper, and my red bell pepper, and my jalapeno. Now, I like to get them in the middle, not like too small, but small enough so it won't be like super chunky pieces of vegetables. But you can do it however you like. It's up to you. Chop, 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 chop. Here I have all of my vegetables and I also add some garlic as well. Put that all into your bowl before you mix. Now you go in with your seasoning. I have my Obey lemon and herb, my onion powder that is in my cayenne pepper. <laughs> I have some grounded mustard. Some seasoning salt, a little dash, Kanye pepper, and some pepper. Go in with that good old mayo 
and breadcrumbs i forgot to let y'all know that in the beginning but yes we are using breadcrumbs the seasoned kind give that a good mix you guys until it's like the consistency of tuna that comes in a packet you know that you put on your crackers for lunch that's the consistency i like to get it to where it's not too dry but it's um a little wet but not super wet and i forgot my garlic powder so i added that in there as well after i mix a little bit i go in with my egg just one just one and on the side i'm gonna have my bag you can use gloves too but i didn't have any and i added my lemon as well and i'm covering it with my hand so i can catch the seeds and my hands are washed and this is my food so i'm gonna do what i want to do <laughs> don't come for me in the comments now i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it but if i was cooking for other people i would definitely make sure that i have gloves Judge that around till the egg is all mixed through here it goes now you want to start making your patties and try and make them all the same size mine did not come out all the same size but it's okay you want to just make sure that they're close enough to the same size not gonna make them smaller but i didn't so it is what it is next you want to put them in that yellow cornmeal but mine is actually fish fry which is the same thing but you can use whatever you would like and you don't have to use this either add the oil to your pan you don't want to put too much but you want to put enough to where it coats it and start adding that salmon patty in that bad boy yes look at that y'all see how them things just sizzle <clears throat> it smells so good in here you guys oh wish you could smell it smell it through the phone or your computer or whatever you're watching me on smell it through the phone da 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 yeah yeah but anyway back to our regular schedule programming you want to start flipping these bad boys and this was my baby that she didn't make it through the fire and the flames but that's okay because she was still good i was eating it while i was making my tartar sauce and it still came out good so you want to keep on flipping them like until they're crispy enough for you i could have kept them in a little bit longer but they um came out to how i wanted them so you want to keep flipping checking them make sure they're not sticking to the bottom of the pan and yes keep on doing that judging them around and flipping yes yes bless bless okay y'all so i had a hard time opening this pickle jar so i did find some pickles in my refrigerator that i used for backup so take your pickle and start cutting that bad boy up into small small bite-sized pieces you don't want them to be chunky okay so make sure that you make them as small as you can small small and then we add our mayo put our pickles in there some ground mustard a little bit of mustard lemon juice you swirl that bad boy around add it some more mayo to make it thick and add onion powder yum Here's the final product. I did make me some fries on the side. But y'all look at that. Oh, that tartar sauce. That cr Y'all hear that? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Y'all already know. Let's get a prayer in before we get into it. Okay. Definitely fire. Thank you for this food. Thank you for blessing me with the hands to make it, Lord God. I pray that this will be a nourishment in my body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's get into it, you guys, okay? Let's see. Ooh, that break. Okay, I'm going to try it without the tartar sauce. Y'all get the first bite. Look at that. Ooh, 
those vegetables in there. <clears throat> Y'all. <laughs> oh my boy. Why? I'm just a beast in in the uh the kitchen. That's all it is to it. Now let's try with the homemade tartar sauce. Oh, there y'all go. Taste it. Mm. Them pickles with that crunch too. Mm. It don't even need hot sauce, y'all. That's how. And it's not dry, it's still moist. Mm. Even though one of my little babies didn't make it on me, she decided to fall apart. But I got three good ones and, oh, uh. mm. okay y'all, y'all know I'm about to go smash on this. I hope y'all like the video. If y'all do anything different, you know you always are open to let me know what else do y'all put in it? Do y'all add something? Do y'all minus something? Let me know. Now be happy to try it your way. Okay? So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!